Okay, so we've not implemented any of these two models yet, the order and order detail models. So let's get started doing that. We're going to base ourselves on just an existing model. So taking everything from the product model and making a new file, this one I will call order dot php and I'm just going to paste everything into it now <clears throat> there's something quite different about this order table because it needs to understand that order in all of our queries is actually the name of the table rather than uh, a part of a SQL command so that we don't get so any error so the way this is going to look is something like order and we need delimiters which I don't know how to call these but they're small slanted apostrophes they're probably just apostrophes yes let's just say it's an apostrophe yeah okay so if I want to get all of the orders for instance something we might want to use to list the orders uh, it would be as simple as select star from order, but notice that order is surrounded by these special characters, the delimiters. Okay, so I can get all of the orders like that. Good. Now, what do the orders contain? Again, we have the order ID, we have the user ID. Uh, we also have the uh, status and the uh, payment information. There must be a payment ID of some sort. Now, to create, it would be insert into, and we're gonna take order again like that. Okay, and so now it's gonna be user ID, status, and payment ID. So that's fine. So payment ID goes there, status, user ID there we go so again user ID status payment ID good so this is when we create now it returns the row count uh, we might want to actually just populate the order ID right away and this is possible, we can do this. So the way to get this new identifier that was just created is by using self dollar underscore connection, which is the connection we're using to actually prepare the SQL statements. This is our connection to the database through the PDO object. So this is the PDO object. And call last insert ID. So using that, if we say that this order ID is equal to that, then we're fine. This is gonna populate the order ID in the object that we just created. It becomes useful because we're gonna to need to actually add an order detail later if we just created this item. So let's save that. Now, finding. If we're trying to find a specific order let's just change all of the product ID everywhere in the document right now to order ID replace all that should be fine so find a specific order ID and let's just change this part here change all of the instances of product for order with a special slanted characters. So that would be order. Okay, so I'll replace. Here I will not have to, but let's just replace it. Let's not replace the instances that are in the fetch class. Replace this instance, that instance, 
and we're good. The other ones we're just gonna change for the normal order without slanted. Okay. Now select star from order and we need to have where order ID is equal to order ID. That seems correct for a simple find. And we need to fetch the single record. Good. Update. So we would need to change everything here for user ID. Let's not change the user ID. We can change the status ID and the payment ID. So let's change the status. The payment ID. Let's not change the user ID because updating a foreign key is definitely a bad idea. So let's just delete the rest of the fields. So we have the status. Let's remove the default picture here and the price. Good. So this would be an update and delete we just delete the order where order id is equal to order id this is only in the case where we have an error going on so hopefully this is going to be all right um, every time we identify order we just got to make sure that we delimit it correctly for the uh, ambiguity between the name order and the command or rather the clause the order by clause to not exist we just don't want this to be ambiguous Good. I thought this would be interesting for you to see that it's possible to use reserved words as long as we use the proper delimiters. Now let's make an order detail file or class rather. Okay. Uh, again, I'm going to use the, uh, the product as a template because I will need it in this case. It's not going to be a big hindrance. Um, now, getting these order details, let's just start with that. Control H. So we're going to join on product here um, a lot <clears throat> okay so when we get all of the order details from a specific order what we want to get is get for order and we're going to provide an order ID and that's going to be very important now we want to select uh, items from uh, for a specific order ID we don't need to select from the order but we're certainly going to have to select from the product and from picture as well as from order detail so it's going to be important to join the order detail to the product and this is going to be on the order detail that product ID is equal to product dot product ID. And we're going to left join that on picture for product default picture is equal to picture ID so that we can see the default pictures as part of the shopping cart. We want to show now more than product star and file name. We certainly want these aspects, but we also want to get order detail dot star. Let's think about this for a second. We can't have any intersection between 
fields of different tables. So we're just going to get the order detail, order detail ID. Okay. So this is going to allow us to actually use the order detail ID later for manipulating whatever records we're going to display on screen. So we're going to fetch all of these records. Hopefully this is going to be all right. Now for create, we want to insert into change that product to order detail. Let's change it wherever it's suitable. Okay. So when we create an order detail, we want to make sure that we handle the proper fields, which we should have written already here. So let's take a look at these fields. We have order ID, price, product ID, and quantity. Order ID. Quantity, price, and product ID. Okay, good. Now, if we create, then we want to make sure that we create for the proper order ID, product ID, quantity, and price. Order ID product ID, quantity, and price. Let's just take these and use them below. And to make these placeholders, we're going to add colons. And now let's just populate correctly the list below. So we need to change to add one to quantity, add one, which is going to be quantity. So we're just going to copy the price one and change it to quantity. Good. So this is creating, finding an actual um, order detail is not going to be relevant right now. Updating one is going to be relevant to change the quantity. So update order detail, and now we need to set different fields. Uh, we're certainly not going to change the order ID or the product ID, but we're going to change the quantity and price. So quantity. We're not going to change anything else than that and price for a specific order detail ID. Now, this part is important. Be careful, order detail ID should have a lowercase o. Quantity, price, order detail ID with a lowercase o. Good. And deleting. Yes, we can remove an article from the shopping cart. Good. Let's save this. Now, one of the things we did not do is actually find the user cart in the order table. We did get to find to get all of the different um, all of the different uh, orders. Uh, we did find to get a specific order by order ID, but we did not find a user cart. 
So we want to implement find user cart in the order table. I think it's going to be quite similar to this. But we're going to have a user ID instead. So select star from order where user ID is the user ID and status is equal to status and we're going to force yeah we're going to force the status to be cart right here status is cart good and we're going to get the single record for that so that's finding the user cart looking at our controller again we're building a new cart and then adding a new product into our cart creating and we should certainly head back location user index back to the catalog we're not going to be able to verify that this is in the database uh, correctly as a user right now but let's use the database itself to uh, you know tell us that this is working let's give it a try We see that we misspelled last insert ID here. Let's go correct this right away. In our create, where we say not last insert ID, but last insert ID. Typos happen. Okay, apparently we might have added something to our shopping cart. So let's go to the order detail table and see that our first record has been inserted for milk to for two percent four liters of milk one for the price of 658 so adding an item to our shopping cart works now it would be interesting to be able to view our cart so we're going to do that in the next little bit